Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today, this Wednesday morning. Uh, we are doing the countdown until the uh, WrestleMania ticket package unboxing for WrestleMania 32. But uh, I keep looking out the window. Where's that FedEx man? Haven't seen him yet, but uh, the word is on the street is that WrestleMania 33 is going to be given to Orlando, Florida. The dark horse come from behind victory. Everybody knows the story of basically um, Minnesota. Uh, looked like they were going to be taking WrestleMania 33 for well over close to a year. And then somewhere around December, the deal just sort of fell apart. And then Orlando moved into being a leader um, to, to where it's going to be. I know that I made a video uh, last week, I believe it was on Saturday, um, just basically putting my prediction out there thinking that it was going to be London uh, it looks like I'm going to be wrong because as of right now there is a press conference set up for next Tuesday um, which is going to be held by Vince McMahon and they're going to have John Cena as well as other superstars to be there um, it looks like WrestleMania 33 will be returning to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando Florida honestly in my opinion one of the uh, most beautiful WrestleMania settings they've ever had I didn't know until I watched the uh, the Mania Mania documentary, whatever that true story of WrestleMania, I think is what that thing actually was. That I didn't know that the Citrus Bowl, honestly, was a dump. Um, I know that they've spent money to sort of renovate uh, that, that stadium as of late, but I do remember hearing horror stories, and I'm not talking just about the fireworks um, that uh, went off, and they, were the, and they went off, and fans were injured in the upper deck uh, during the uh, the Undertaker ceremony at the end of WrestleMania. I'm talking about like that uh, the bathrooms weren't working, and they had porta potty outside of the Citrus Bowl and the, the, the ground outside of the Citrus Bowl was starting to turn muddy and the rumor was that there wasn't muddy. I'm just hoping that the, the Citrus Bowl is really going to be uh, shaping up to be a really good uh, WrestleMania. Uh, like I said earlier, WrestleMania 24, um, which was back in 2008, drew uh, 74,000 fans. Of course, everybody remembers it was Shawn Michaels against Ric Flair with Ric Flair's retirement match. We had three-way between Randy Orton, John Cena, and Triple H, and of course, Undertaker and Edge. Edge at WrestleMania 24, in my opinion, one of the best WrestleMania entrances of all time. Just the fireworks going off behind him, as well as you know Floyd Mayweather uh, when he came out, he got he got a bunch of fireworks as well. The money falling from the sky um, as he went out there and he took on Big Show, but. Uh, We'll see. WrestleMania 33. A lot of attractions in Orlando. Uh, everybody can remember the stories of uh, TNA uh, versus WWE at that time. Of course, back in 2008, that war was, I guess you can say, a little bit stronger uh, than it is now. But um, one of the, um, the Highlanders, I think his name is Rory McAllister, ended up getting fired because WWE basically said, we don't want to see you at any TNA events. And he ended up going to the uh, TNA show in order to watch his friends. And TNA put him on TV. And then, of course, you can remember, um, well, that wasn't really for WrestleMania. That was when they were down in Orlando for a photo shoot for the Royal Rumble when everybody was all dressed up like the greasers, like they were getting ready to fight. Uh, I don't remember what year that was, but it was probably around the same time. And TNA just crashed their photo shoot and, and in order to put it on TV. So we'll see what's going on with this. We'll see you guys on down the road. Congratulations to the uh, people of Orlando hosting another WrestleMania. And uh, I don't know. We'll see if we're going.